let's explore the dimension of you valuing yourself. So let's start from the outside in, you know, with other people. Who values you? These are the same folks uh, in this list here in the slide that um, we went through a moment ago for you valuing. Think about some of the people who you have taught or shown things along the way. Um, how about people you've helped or friends or people who like you? Uh, people on the street may say you go by. Uh, how about people who can see the little kid in you? Maybe family um, or people who care about humanity altogether. These people are valuing you. They express it in lots of different kinds of ways. And again, just a quick survey here, and we'll, do, we'll go through this more deeply in the guided practice. Um, think about the many ways you are uh, even tacitly, silently, appreciated, respected, thanked in the minds of others uh, who feel grateful to you. Think about some of the many ways that you've been admired or looked up to, or that people have praised you or complimented you or seen the good in you or seen your good intentions, even if the performance, you know, isn't always perfect. How about people who've stuck up for you, protected you? They felt there was something worth sticking up for, right? Or people who, you know, you know somehow, they've just seen through the windows into your innermost being and they really like and cherish, you know, what's there. So if you let that be real for you, that um, other people think well of you, can you recognize it as a fact, even though you may not be perfect, right? Their valuing is real. Just like your valuing is real of them, their valuing is real for you, you know? It's objective. It's their mirroring back to you of what they see in you. When it's sincere, obviously. When it's legit, you know, that's what we're talking about here. Not that they're trying to, you know, butter you up or something, but they really do see the good in you. They see what is true and real about you. In a sense, it is a kind of mirror. And it would be ignorant, foolish, unskillful to turn away from the reflection. Think of other people's valuing of you as a kind of mirror. Maybe they see you better than you even see yourself. And then think of their valuing as a gift. Much as you want to offer the gift because it's in your heart to give it and you want them to receive it because you, you want things to be good with these other people. In the same way, their valuing of you is a beautiful gift. And it would be rude and inconsiderate not to accept it, not to open your hands. It's their gift. You know, it's like receiving any gift. Maybe it's not wrapped exactly the way you might want it, or, you know, you already have that kind of tie, fine. But it's their gift to you, and it's really important to take it in. If we block the flow of contribution uh, to ourselves, it gets in the way of letting other people make their contributions, which is not good for them, and, you know, in circular ways, not good for the whole wide world. 